What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about Thanksgiving 2. We'll be talking about Chucky and the future of the franchise. And we'll be talking about Saw 11. Now, to start it off here with Scream 7, I just wanted to address this DM I've been getting and the question of, is Scream 7 script complete? The short answer would be no, <laughs> from what I've heard unless it's the story with sam and sydney that's in the trash right now scream 7 is still going through a creative rehaul with the script process and i'm hearing certain players won't be coming back to shoot after all despite reports from reputable outlets so i don't see us hearing about a completed script until the summer or the fall maybe hopefully sometime in the spring but my best guess would be the summer or the fall a few of you have just sent me dms about an alleged script being completed in january and i just don't see how based on the accuracy of what i've been hearing at most what they probably have complete is where they want to take the story, but now still need to write something. That's my thoughts on the situation and the rumor that has again been sent to me by a few different people. As far as I know, there is no script, but maybe they have an idea that's been complete since mid January. Maybe that's a little bit more truthful. I doubt they have a script. Just from what I've heard, there's no way. And again, as I pointed out in one of my last dedicated videos to the topic of Scream 7, Nev Campbell is simply just filming Lincoln Lawyer season three still that actually hasn't wrapped from what I've been able to discover online. And that's why she dropped out for a scheduling conflict in March. But if it ends up being Scream 7, then it just ends up being Scream 7. But no, they don't have a script. Now, the second thing we're going to talk about here is Thanksgiving 2. Thanksgiving 2 will likely see the return of Nell. She recently spoke with Games Radar and revealed this. I think that'll be a continuation of where we last saw Jess, who is who uh, Nell played in Thanksgiving. So we'll see. But right now, I think she'll be back. When I've spoken to Eli about what he wants to do, I think he wants to flesh out the characters a lot. You know, these are traumatic events that happen to these people. And I think the reason the first one worked so well is because the relationships between everyone were very strong and you understood all of that. Spoiler warning, I guess. If you haven't seen this film, click away and come back in 30 seconds or so. But didn't Patrick Dempsey's character survive the ending of the first film? If not that, my biggest question at the moment is, I think his name was Newland or Newton. I think it was Newland. Is Newland still alive? Because it was implied or assumed at least that he burned to death. But perhaps he ended up making it out alive before they actually found his body. And he didn't simply burn up the way that they think he did. And it could have also, of course, tie into the nightmare that Jess has at the end of the original movie. So will Patrick Dempsey be back is my biggest question at the moment. Are you even looking forward to Thanksgiving too? Would you be happy to see Nail back? Would you be happy to see Jess back? Or do you just simply not care? Why or why not? Let me know down below. Now, we're going to shift into talking about Chucky. So Scream Rants caught up with Don Mancini at this award show recently and talk to him about Chucky being in space or Chucky in space functioning as the next step in this franchise. If not the film franchise, the TV show, possibly. So he said, everyone's asking me that question. So my question is, do you want, do you want him to go to space? Do you personally want him to go? If there's enough of the demand for that, eventually, I don't know how quickly I have an idea for that. I'll tell you this. No, we do not want that, or at least I, I don't want that. And I'll do a separate video to explore this a little further and just be fair and honest about the situation. However, Mancini did say last year sometime at an interview, during an interview, that space wouldn't be what season four does next. Now, that was, of course, keywords being at the time of that interview. So maybe he's changed his mind. But would you guys be down for Chucky in space? Why or why not? Let me know down below. I, again, will do a separate video to talk about this a little bit further and why I do not think this would be a good idea and also explore why it could end up being a new idea from the perspective of those like me who are already considering that this will be a complete dud. I just think that Chucky should honestly end as it stands right now. I don't think Chucky should end in space. If that's what they do, that's just what they do. It's not my IP. I just think the character and the franchise itself, it's time for it to end. It's time for it to wrap up. But you know, 
it's going to keep on existing as long as it's profitable and if it's profitable for universal chucky's going to be here for the foreseeable future and we'll just all have to deal with it so the last thing we're going to talk about here is saw 11 kevin gruder has been exclusively revealed thanks to bloody disgusting to be returning to direct saw 11 which would be the third film he's directed in the franchise i think for this or at least for this series uh saw x was fantastic easily one of the best horror films last year and kevin gruder returning is awesome news best news of the week so far for the horror genre now we just need to know if patrick melton and marcus dunstan are returning since we know goldfinger and stolberg are out stolberg as he's been teasing is working on sorority row 2 as i previously mentioned the filming location for saw 11 is allegedly canada and it will start in the spring sometime. So we'll see what happens because we're going to, of course, start learning more as we get closer to the start date of production. What are your hopes for Saw 11? Are you happy Kevin Gruder is back? Do you really not care? And do you care about who the returning cast members are? I would imagine most people want Cecilia back. <laughs> they want Amanda back. But I think most people want Cecilia back more than anything. If Cecilia isn't who you want back, let me know who you mostly want back for Saw 11 down below. I really just want a good film again. I think Saw X took us back into, or got us back into the swing of things. I've said this multiple times. It did what Jigsaw and Spiral failed to do. It's gotten us back into the swing of things. We're already getting another Saw film. The demand is there. Audiences want it. John Kramer was back. Never been better. And hopefully they can keep this hot streak up. I guess I can't really say it's a hot streak until you have multiple films like this. Maybe Saw X was just a, a, a one and done or a one hit wonder and Saw 11 will just be more trash, if you will. But let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to any of these horror projects? Why or why not? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.